entire soul is stomped on. I should break it down. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. Um, what goes through your head when you're watching that? Um, I think that I'm just as shocked now rewatching it as I was in the moment because I, I didn't see it coming. And I did that to myself because I was so hyper focused on that relationship. I wasn't paying attention to the other women. And I think I kind of blindsided myself in that. It was really hard because one of the last conversations I had with Matt was like about my family and meeting them. And yeah. he asked me about my dad and we had this whole conversation. And then for that to kind of turn around and be like, but just kidding, that's, that's not what's next. That was really hard. When you got in the limo and you're leaving, you said, I don't even care anymore. Do you really feel that way? Um, I, I think it was the shock, yeah. honestly. Um, obviously, obviously really cared, you know, the tears are real. So I think it was just me trying to deflect. Well, you like, went so far as to say, I'm falling in love with you. Were you in love with Matt? Yeah, I was, I was definitely in love with Matt. Um, I think by the time that I got to my one-on-one, -on -one, I told Matt that I was falling in love with him, but I think by that point I was in love with him. And I think that for me, the easiest thing to vocalize was, oh, I'm falling in love with you, because that still kept that, that one wall up, the, oh, I'm not there yet, so like you can't have all of my happiness, but I was 100% in. And in the one-on-one, -on -one, he said he could be free with his emotions and his feelings as well. Do you feel like he was? I, I trusted that he was in the moment. I don't know, you know, obviously hindsight's twenty twenty. so looking back on all of his experiences, I don't know if yeah. he was 100% honest with me and how he was feeling because, I mean, we saw it. There was the date where he told me how he felt about me and said that we were on the same page. Um, and I think that we were in completely different books at that point, yeah. but Matt has this amazing ability to make everybody feel really special. And mm -hmm. I think, you know, all the women here can relate to that. And yeah. in the moment, I really went for it, but everything that I thought was wrong, and I was absolutely heartbroken, soul crushed, whatever, but. Okay, so yeah. was it worth it? Are you glad you did it? I'm, yeah, I wasn't glad at the time, but yeah. I'm definitely glad that I did it because I feel like I've grown as a person. I know what I want. I will never settle again. And I think that was a different form of self-sabotage. Um, you know, I'm, I'm proud of myself for doing it. You I often said you felt stupid expressing yourself like that. I did, I did feel stupid, but I feel like I have a better vocabulary now yeah. in order to do that. That's a good thing. Well, I appreciate you opening up and thank you for joining us here tonight, Piper. Thanks. <laughs>